出去关心。Can you hear me? Like uh, ask, ask at this time that my family come up here, my daughter Rebecca and my other daughter Amanda come up here. Rebecca, come here. My grandchildren are with me today, and my daughters, and it's a beautiful day today for a canoe launch. Um, my name is Minu Dijek, Good Sky, Wayne Ballier, and I'd like to uh, welcome all, welcome you all here to Lake Bakegama Lake. By the way, Bakegama means lake off to the side. We've been uh, launching with lots of G-Mon, Birchmark Canoes, in this lake for many, many generations. Ever What's since Aki Wainzi, that old man, taught Lac de Flambeau, Waswaganing people how to fish with a torchlight and hunt deer with a torchlight from a birch bark canoe. We've been here for a long time doing it, and this is a good day that we're bringing this canoe here back to Waswaganing to put it in our waters because all of the materials came from our area. So it's kind of like a homecoming for this Was Jiman. We're honoring all the materials that. Uh, went into this uh, this canoe. And at this time, I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about the project. Um, Wigwasa Jimani, what Wigwasa Jimani Kawin, Birch Park Canoe Building, and the project, these canoes carry culture. This canoe represents, represents approximately 15 months of hard work from students and different people all over the place over a thousand hands and good energy have touched his canoe in the past year. There's been friendships made and there's been um, a lot of good feelings around this canoe. There's been a lot of learning by our young people, um, learning that we called a, a kiwi gikendamowin, which is traditional knowledge, ecological knowledge. Our students learned about uh, Nakoma Sakibinan, our grandmother earth, in a, in a really cool way. We wanted to bring, we wanted to bridge modern education with our traditional education, and we found that they they're in they 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 fit together quite well. Um, so it also um, teaching our, our students that uh, um, to have a sound foundation with their identity and to uh, to think strongly and be strong leaders for for tomorrow, and also um, so that we never lose our identity. We can become educated people, we can have casinos, we can drive cars, but we never lose our traditional value, our traditional value that, like uh, Mr. Grams was mentioning, the seven grandfathers, the, uh, the sacred teachings of our people, truth, honesty, respect, humility, wisdom, courage, all of these different traits that we carry with us. The reason they were given to the Anishinaabe people was to help our survival. So we get along and we get along and we, we live, uh, we have a good life, Minobi Madaziwin, in this environment. So this project represents a lot of things. It was camaraderie, it was uh, friendship, it was respect, and most of all, it was learning. It was learning for our students that, that you can be a Nishnabe and still go to a major university and become educated and hopefully our students will come back and help our community, Waswaganing, help our people to be strong and live many generations ahead and never, ever lose our Anishinaabe way of, way of life and our culture and our value. And always remember where we're from, Miwenje, where we're from. So all these things are important. I stand here um, with my grandchildren. My, I, I stand here with three generations of my family um, the Bear Clan of Waswaganing, 
and we are very honored to be here. And uh, also at this time, I would, uh, if my uh, my older brother is in the crowd, I'd like to offer him a seba and ask him to uh, do uh, do an opening for us to uh, to uh, launch our canoe. If he's here, is he here? Okay, and my uh, my older brother, my older brother, uh, Boise, Boise Valier, Ozawagush, the fox, the yellow fox, is, uh, he's, uh, he's more than a big brother to me, he's, he's been a teacher to me also, he's one of my teachers that, that helped me to, uh, to be able to build these canoes, and, um, different teachers like Marvin Defoe, or Johnny McGeejik, different elders that have showed that knowledge to me but uh my brother is uh also one of my teachers and i hold a great respect for my older brother so out of respect for him i ask him to uh to say a prayer for us and for all the students that are up ahead so you have a safe summer to look over our leaders so they make the right decisions to look over our people and so that each and every one of you, the parents, you guide your children in the right way. And there's love and peace throughout our community and throughout Nishnabe country. Me ekawai kadoyan. Oh, we do Nishnabe do. We got some money we're going to get in me which we are. I can't make me younger do. To me no visa got come out was wagging. And while I get us to get in, oh my, I check we in what was guy I got to get a bit in gun. Money do man and Kiabe where we need to go was you gonna want me go one. And what gay that's all get the Zimu one, can a Nishna beg on my work. And what does we know why I'm still where you got Pija or the mark, you know, my game here, you know, I require what they win out there. Kiabe that's Kastatuna, what we do go on, which guy I go on was wagging. It does a man who go on which two now we was the Jiman, we wish guy I go on, they get far or a go more got for man. Get to go, get Kiabe, Pitchin dogs, what the air, what we more big so chick me care, man, and be calm. The Russian man who wants to go now, stop me, which we are going to do the Kennegago, and while gay, that's all. But the same the man Kiabe, men will be Marzi when Mashkaus, you and Chimino Aya when the Kennaway or Marky or Dappen Ward, and what does we know I ask it? What? You got you. You. Bonjour, me got you. Me got you. So at this time, um, I'd like to introduce our uh, our Ogima, our tribal chairman, Mr. T Mr. Tom Malson. Can we bring that? Yeah, bring that up. Mic, bring that mic up, please. Thank you. Hey, good. Who's you? Didn't know about the duck. Today you are shooting. Was walking in and doing your back. Ogama was walking in. I want to thank everybody that uh, is here today. It's a great day and was walking in. And I was thinking about that canoe a little bit. What Boise had said. Thank him for them prayers. I want to thank all those thousands of hands that touched that, that canoe. Because it's uh, sitting on sitting on water that you can see way down. A lot of fish out there, a lot of good times for not only our young people, but for tourists that come here. And I want to say Chimmy good to those students that made this happen because this canoe is, and I hope that someone takes a ride in it. I know they, they took a ride on over in Madison on that canoe. And I just want to say that uh, it has a significance, like Boise said, to, to the Anishinaabe people here. It was our way of life. We can't forget that. Today they got aluminum, you name the canoes that they have today. But yet, you know, this one has survived, you know, through the centuries. And that was our vehicles. That was our, sometimes our, our trucks. The things that took people back and forth. You know, as far as going to Washington, D.C., they portaged in different areas and 
and follow the the highways of the Creator, you know, made for Anishinaabe people. But the significance today is, I think, far greater. And I think uh, Wayne sort of touched on it a little bit to make our community really take a hard look at how long we've come from those canoes to you can look around the lake, these are pontoons, speedboats, you name it. Hardly anymore do you see these. But every so often they bring them from the depths, like that wooden canoe that they brought from Strawberry Island. And uh, it tells us not to forget about our ancestors. And I'm hoping, you know, this your little paddle today will bring another, I guess, uh, major issue to our community that uh, maybe we need to build more of these. Maybe we need to have more hands in reference to, you know, the things that uh, were left for us to do. Hopefully that uh, our cultural program can take another uh, step and, and build many things that were made for the use of the Anishinaabe people. people. And these young people not forget about it. Like I say, our language, you know, it's uh, come a long ways. Like I say, sitting on that day wagon with these your two young men, that one that speaks there and the other one that speaks very fluently in, in the prayers that uh, take place in, in Indian country here today. You know, they were struggling as young people, but today it really brings your heart up to say that here we got people that can really make things happen. So I ask uh, our young people, and I challenge our young people, let's have a safe summer. Parents, let's make sure our children are going to be back for the next years to come for education. And let's not forget our, our uh, culture, our tradition, who we are. It's really great when I, I went spearing here just through that ice with my grandson. First thing he put down there was that Sema in that water, thanking them water spirits. So let's uh, let's have more of these events. Let's have more this year. Let's not forget. Miigwech. Sure. Miigwech. <laughs> I also, um, at this time, uh, have to uh, um, translate some of what my uh, my older brother said. He also. Um, he also talked about who are our teachers in Lac Flamo, and also that you are looked over and give, given strength and also um, that you're thought of highly in our community. You, hold, you are the knowledge holders for the future of our children and we, we appreciate you a great deal. So let's give our, our teachers from Lac Flamo a round of applause. And at this time, I would like, like to ask uh, Dr. Larry, we met our administrator, to say a few words. Bonjour, everyone. I'm really humbled to be here today at this historic event. And I just want to thank uh, Wayne Valier and our friends from Madison for being here, our tribal council members, our school board members. Um, this is just such a unique event. What a wonderful way to end the school year. Um, have, this is such a unique event to our school, to our district, uh, to march 500 kids down the uh, highway and be here at this uh, launching of the canoe and all of the work that uh, Wayne and the, England, uh, the language department has put in. You know, we're very fortunate at our school to have such a talented group of people, Wayne, and his brother Boise, and Greg Johnson, and Doreen, and all the people from the uh, Indian Education Department and the Tribal uh, Language Department who support our students, our teachers, um, who provide that, that cultural you know, res responsiveness that we're all looking for. I know that um, in a lot of communities, there's a concern that uh, the culture and the language may not survive. And it, you know, we're very fortunate here and I'm humbled to be working with the people that 
have made it so alive in our school and our community. Just a wonderful job. And again, thanks to, to the, the doctors and students from UW-Madison, all the students in the Envision program and throughout our school that have taken part in this. Um, we're just, we're fortunate. I, I know I've talked with Wayne about some more projects he has in mind to, to bring the culture and keep it alive. Um, but uh, really, what, what an awesome day. Students, I just want to say you were outstanding in the gym. Just, just well behaved and just very, very proud and respectful. And uh, we've got some really good things going here in the school and in the community. We're working together to uh, provide the very best education for you. And it's just going to get stronger and stronger. We will be the school and the community to look for um, across the state, across the nation, with the help of all the talented people in this community. So with that, I just want to say thank you, Miigwech, and have a great summer. Thank you, Dr. Rimet. At this time, uh, I'd like to introduce you, you can say a few words. Um, um, Dr. Tom Dubois, Professor of Scandinavian Studies at UW-Madison, and also Tim Frandy out there, my partner, with uh, also UW Marcus, Marcus Cedarstrom, and Colin Collins, wherever he's at around here. But Tom is going to say a few words about the project, and after he's done, we are going to take uh, one of the village vision students, this student here, um, his name is Esteban, and Esteban is, uh, represents what, what's going to be the future of Lac de Flambeau. This young man is a leader, he is a good, he is an awesome athlete, he's a role model around the people around him. This guy really pays attention to detail, and uh, it's been an honor for me to work with all the Envision students. They're, they're all a great bunch of kids. Um, so Dallas is going to be their leader today, and he's going to paddle that canoe and walk swagging in. Okay, he ain't the walk I mean, Esteban, excuse me. Hello, Hello. Uh, respected elders and members of the community and friends. I'm really happy to bring greetings from the University of Wisconsin-Madison where the project took place. Uh, my colleague Tom Lozer, who's the head of the art department, wishes he could be here, but he had to go uh, for family reasons back east. And um, every year there are art residencies in the art department. People come, they do their art, they disappear. It's a large university, tens of thousands of students, lots of faculty, things going on, and people lose track. But one thing that happened was that Wayne Valliere came with this project. And from the beginning, everybody knew about it. It was a different moment. People came to see the canoe. They were interested in the process. They were interested in touching the canoe. And I remember that Wayne had told us when we were harvesting the cedar from the forest right here on the reservation, and he told us about how important it was to have the grain go straight through from one end to the other. Otherwise, at the time when you were bending those, those pieces, they would crack. So we finally got to that point where we were bending those, and it was a kind of a nerve-wracking moment, and tons of people happened to show up at the wood shop. So we had, we had people there from the Ojibwe Nation. We had Envision students there. We had people from the Choctaw Nation, we had people from the Navajo Nation, we had people from Minnesota, from Wisconsin, from Michigan, we had people from Florida, from Pennsylvania, from California, we had students from uh, China, we had students from Japan, we had students from Korea, we had students from Sweden, and we had students from uh, uh, Hungary. And all of these students were crammed into this room as we were waiting to see that, that bending of those, those uh, uh, ribs that you're going to look at and, and see. And what was amazing was that not a single one of those cracked during that, that moment. And there was a moment where we were all so nervous and Wayne said, can somebody sing a song? And the Chinese student sang a beautiful song in Japanese. And we had this wonderful intercultural moment. And what was so exciting to me was 
everyone who is there and everyone who sees this canoe, now that it'll be on permanent display at the dorm, the DeJoke dorm at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And every one of you students who someday come to study at our university, because I sure hope you'll come, you will see that canoe and you will know that Ojibwe culture didn't disappear. Ojibwe culture is with us today and it's something to be proud of. Miigwech. At this, at this, whoops. at this time, uh, after this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ceremony, this, this wonderful event, will all students who are either walking or riding with your parents, going with your parents, stay seated in, at, with your class. If you are a first grader or a second grader, you may now go to get on the bus, the rest of you wait, and anyone, any staff who can help to keep that bus area stay safe, uh, any parents who can help keeping that um, bus area safe, and we'll dis I'll dismiss the rest of the grades very shortly. Thank you, thank you, Chi Miigwech, to everyone who came and to everyone who helped to make this project possible.